For almost 15 years, my wife Joey cut my hair. Every three weeks, whether I needed it or not. She cut it in the house, on the tour bus, in hotel rooms. Didn't really matter where we were. When I needed a haircut, she was ready to give me one. And so finding a barber to take the place of Joey has been tough. I've been to a bunch of different places, tried a bunch of different folks. Sometimes I would just get frustrated and cut it myself. And it looked pretty good overall in the front. But the back, the part I couldn't see, well, let's just say I feel fairly certain that's how the mullet got started. With men cutting their hair by themselves. And now here it is May 2020, and hopefully we're all on the backside of the coronavirus pandemic. But there's another problem that still exists that we haven't addressed. The hair demic. Sometimes I wish I could just snap my fingers and magically my hair would be cut, just like, wow, what do you think? But it's not possible. So finally today, I'm gonna break down, go to town and get a haircut. Thank you, John, for the haircut. Wait, though, is this before the haircut or at? Thanks, John, for the haircut that you're gonna give me that I haven't got yet, but I'm gonna get later today and then I'm gonna put it together and I'm gonna do some, some snap things and make magic happen. And anyway, thanks, John. Looks good. I think it does. I mean, I haven't seen it yet, but I think it's gonna look good. We'll see you tomorrow or today. If my hair is if my hair is still long, you'll see me today. But if it's cut, it'll be tomorrow because I already got it cut. But if it's or it's the day before because you won't see this until tomorrow because I'm not sure when I'm gonna be able to get it out. So see you yesterday. Tomorrow. <sighs> see you soon.